Are you ready for the Weeder Heavyweight Blind Title Bout Championship fight? We got Makers 46 Cask Strength versus Weller Full Proof. Let's get punching. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of The Butcher's Block. I am Ben Richards, the Butcher of Bakersfield, framed, those people wanted food for God's sakes, with another blind battle edition, hopefully a title bout, heavyweight title bout this time, of Weller Foolproof versus Makers 46 Cask Strength. One is very limited and hard to find and marked the hell up, depending on where you live. One is apparently limited edition, but not so hard to find that I can see, and also a hell of a lot more reasonably priced. I have review shows for both of these. I'll put links up to them here and maybe here, one after the other, to just kind of give you an idea of what these are with a standalone. But this is a 114 proof, and this is 110 proof. So this is a little quieter than this, but they're both really distinct weeders at cask strength. And Makers 46, maybe a little bit more uh, reserved or or maybe spicier than this? I don't know. I'm really going to be interested to find out how they stack up blind. And I'm hoping the proof doesn't make too much of a difference. And we can at least find out which is distinct without giving away the, the secrets without the proof from the proof. But we can determine one, I'll determine which one I like better. As you know, you go watch my blind shows. Here's how I do it. These are independently poured. They are blind. I don't know which is in which vial. These bottles are here for decoration. They don't matter of significance of which place yet. When I am sure, after I've poured them and sipped them, I will pick which one is my favorite and which one I think is which. And I'll do that by placing the bottle by the appropriate glass. This will pour into this. This will pour into this. And I'll put the bottle on the corresponding side. I don't know what's in what. And I have the answers here in my Academy Awards envelope ready to go. I'm really curious to see which one I like. Because I think I like this. I don't know. We'll find out. I'll make an idiot of myself. I know which one I want to pick. I don't know if I'll be able to guess. I'm going to try and not rely on the proof. But I think the spiciness may give it away. But I don't know. This, I don't know. Let's get into it. I'm going to start pouring. I really want to try this and see what happens. Cheers. Okay, I'm ready. All right. First off, let me just say, this was very tough. Uh, I can't really taste the differences in proof easily. I have my suspicions, but it's not like, oh, this is a burn. That's obviously the Weller. Oh, this is not burning. That's obviously the Makers. It's very tough to tell. Second... What I think I'm mistake I'm is unmistakably that Weller flavor profile of sweet wheat. I'm kind of having second thoughts, but I'm going back and forth. But I think I know where I'm at. I think I, first of all, they're both that wheater goodness. There's that brown sugar, caramel, sweet, and the overwhelmingly sweet spiciness of of the cask strength wheat. Both of these are delicious, and honestly, they're pretty. It's tasting pretty close to me. They're distinct, but they're not like miles apart. So I was very relieved that the proof didn't just identify it immediately. I really had to kind of put some legwork into nosing it and figuring out what I think is which. And yeah, I think, I think I'm right on, I'm not, I don't know if I'm right and I'm ready to kind of make a pick. First off, 
Let me take a sip to cleanse the palate. I just want to give this one one more go. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Foot and mouth time. Um, I love this part because I'm either completely wrong or I did get it. I don't know. I like this one better. This is the one I like best out of the two. Okay. This one has a more spicy, like oaky to the uh, component to the sweetness. Whereas this is sweet, but this has the little added extra dimension. This tastes hot. So I don't know if that means something or not, but I know I like this one more. This one is good and it's sweet, but it's hot, but it doesn't have that like, this has a little bit more complexity than this. And so I like this one more. Which one do I think is which? I think this is the Weller. It drinks hot a little bit. There's a little bit of hot and spice. And that's why I'm worried that that could be the spice from the staves and the 46. But I also think this could be the high proof and are the higher proof. The 114 versus the 110. This has a little bit extra spicy complexity to it. And I think that's the 46, the stave profiles of, of this. Uh, 46 cask strength. I think that's the, 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 the calling card. It's party piece, if you will. Um, I'm confident that this might, maybe, could be 46. I like this. I like this better. The initial hits, this was so much more flavorful. This is good. It's not, I mean, it's not like this is trash, obviously. But I liked this one. There was an edge to this that I liked. So... Let's go to the tape, literally the tape on the bottles, and find out which one is which and do the reveal. So I'm going to rip the tape off this one first. And this is number one, okay? Which means this is number two. But um, this is one, this is two. I think this is Makers 46. I think this is Weller. I like this one better, okay? So this is my chosen, this is my chosen setup. I've locked in my answers. I like this one better than this. This is what I think they are. Now we're gonna go to the Academy answers. Number one, oops, my card. Number one is Makers 46. Number two is Weller Foolproof. And I liked this one better. I'm very happy about this. Uh, it was closer than I thought, but I think the uh, stave magic that uh, the private select 46 folks have from this kind of really came through because there's an added complexity of spice in this that this doesn't have. And this really kind of shone through. I liked it better and I guessed it right. So yes, that's your champ. That's your weeder champion. That. Makers 46 cask strength. And of course, it's a limited edition, so who knows if we'll see it after we see these bottlings. I think that's a plea to Makers Mark to basically make this available year round. Uh, your Makers cask strength, your regular Makers cask strength is great. This Makers is kicking Weller's butt left, right, and center in the blind. So you heard, you heard, you saw it here first, history being made. One out of one butchers prefer Makers 46 cask strength to Weller full proof, which is limited release, allocated, marked the hell up everywhere I see it. If you're lucky that you find this every day for 60 bucks, good. I don't care. I can't. So anyway, take care. That's all I got. I'm glad this was the winner because it's clearly my favorite. I do like the underdog. I do love Maker's Mark. Who doesn't love Weller? You can watch my video about this. Everybody loves Weller. It's, it's like rooting for the Yankees. Everybody loves Weller, okay? Like, Weller is not a sore loser, and it's, like, not going to drop in sales because I beat that with this, and I preferred Maker's 46 cast strength. What you should do is that should tell you to go buy a bottle of this and sip on it and enjoy it rather than try to hunt this down and spend money. That's the smart money, in my opinion. So, that said, take care. Tip your bartenders. If you have a whiskey bar where they have both of these, line it up. 
please, I want you to see, try this for yourselves and you tell me how you ended up because I think you'll be surprised. Or maybe you won't, you'll pick Weller Foolproof because you're better than I am and you think this is awesome and you hate this. I don't know, I'd love to hear that too. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this. Take care, talk to you soon. Well, this is clearly a loser, so I guess I'll go dump it down the sink. I mean, now I gotta go buy more of this, right? Stock up. Just kidding. This is enough.